What's going on everybody? This is Cody, the home theater hobbyist. And today I want to talk to you about an experience I've had over the past month or so that I've really, really enjoyed. And honestly, as I'm shooting this video, I'm not totally sure what I'm going to title it. But um, basically I've had an outdoor movie experience. Um, let me start from the beginning. My wife, my beautiful wife, my sweet, sweet wife, bought me a projector for Father's Day. And um, it's not a super high-end projector or anything like that. It's, you know, 100, maybe 120 bucks on Amazon. But she bought it and I was like, man, I've got to purchase a screen. And I was kind of dragging my feet on it, right? Just dragging my feet. And then she mentioned an outdoor movie night. And I was like, you know, that's a great idea. So that kind of, you know, gave me the kick in the pants to actually look at screens. And I started looking for outdoor screens. And I ran into this bad boy, the Elite Screen Yardmaster 2. And from the jump, there was a lot of things I liked about it. First of all, it comes in a couple of different formats, four by three and 16 by nine, which I have here, but it also comes in several sizes. I think it starts at 55 or maybe 75 inches and goes up to like 135 inches. And what I really wanted was the 120 inch, but I had to settle, quote unquote, for the 100 inch, and I'll explain that in a minute. But, um, so I started looking into it and I liked it. It's got a relatively high gain at 1.3, but it does not only front projection, but rear projection. And this actually is a front projection screen that I have here. So we, I got it, I set it up, and honestly set up was actually pretty easy. My first time setting it up took me, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And now that I've set it up a couple times, I can do it in less than 10 minutes. So setup is pretty easy. Uh, picking this thing up, it's made out of aluminum. The frame is made out of aluminum. So it's pretty light because the screen is just a screen. It's not anything heavy. So I'm actually able to carry it by myself with the enemy assistance. Um, the only issue would be if I had like the 135 inch version would be the length, not the weight. But I digress. So um, I set it up and we had our outdoor movie night. I brought in some speakers that I have here that I, you know, I purchased and did a review on those Kef Q150s over there. You can check out that review, by the way. Um, had my receiver out here and we plugged in, I think either the Apple TV 4K or maybe an Amazon Fire TV stick, one or the other into the projector in the HDMI port and just enjoyed outdoor movie night. It was great. So if you are one of those people that have set up your home theater and you're looking for you know something else to do i would suggest going for an outdoor movie night for me it costs less than 300 dollars because like i said well not me my wife bought me the projector for 100 maybe 120 bucks the screen was like 150 bucks or so and so i'm able to do an outdoor movie night so i like it but there's also something else that i like the next thing I like about the Yardmaster is its versatility. Not only does it work outdoors, but it works indoors as well. As you can see, I have it here. And like I said earlier, this is the 100 inch version. I took the measurements offline and measured my room. And although I wanted the 120 inch, I had to settle, quote unquote, for the 100 inch. Because as you can see on each one of these corners, it's basically touching my ceiling. It's, it's nearly there, so I couldn't get any bigger. But honestly, I'm okay because now I can have a more theater-like experience inside my home theater. Another thing I like about this particular setup is it allows me to also still maintain my front soundstage. I've still got my left speaker, my right speaker, and my center channel right down here. Now the center channel does have to be angled up just a little bit to effectively give me a really good center channel presentation uh, because it's a little bit low, below the screen, but um, it does work. I also get my subwoofer in here as well. So I just like it because it works for my setup. It's very versatile. So if you're gonna get this, I say, and I suggest you do, think about what you wanna use it for, not just outdoors, but indoors as well. This is a challenging environment. So I measured what I needed for this environment and then that's what I use outside if I wanna go outside. So again, the Yardmaster 2 is very versatile and I like it. So yeah, as you can see, not only can I do an outdoor setup, but I can also do an indoor setup. And that is super, super cool. And that's why I had to shrink it down to 100 inches, but it's great because we've done both, we've experienced both, and it's just been a blast. So again, if you are someone that's looking for something else to upgrade to, I would suggest looking into the Yardmaster 2 because again, it gives you a lot of flexibility 
as far as um, your setup is concerned, but it also gives you the ability to do whatever you want to do, whenever you want to do it. You want to set up a movie in your bedroom? Set it up. If you want to come outside and do it, set it up. Get you some speakers. I mean, you could even buy a projector that has a, you know, a speaker built into it. They usually aren't as good, but you can get you some speakers and have a nice time with your family or just enjoying you know, your favorite movies on a bigger screen than you can typically get on a flat panel display. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you want to pick up a Yardmaster, the Q150s, a receiver, a streaming device, whatever, use those links in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. We'll talk to you next time.